bomb going off or a tornado and you need to get underground. With all the stress, you want to be in the best place possible. So that's why I've spent the past week designing this super epic Lego underground bunker. Because any logical person would build a bunker for their toys. So I'm going to give you a tour of it just because, well, because. So you go down this ladder into a hallway and the first room you get to is the bedroom. It's got two bunk beds or four places for people to sleep. So across from the bedroom is the kitchen. And now the kitchen is relatively tiny, but I figured you aren't gonna be cooking any gourmet meals underground anyway. Right next to the kitchen is a room for food storage. There are cans, there are eggs, there's fruit. There's a lot of stuff. And this is supposed to be like a frozen room to keep the food in. And right here is the bathroom. I didn't put a whole lot of detail into this because I mean, how much interesting stuff can you put in a bathroom? But there's a double vanity, a toilet, and a shower. Then we move into one of my favorite designs of the whole build, the secret bookshelf door. As you can see, it can't move at all, but when you pull out a secret book, it actually can move. And that's because on the other end of the secret book is actually a latch, which latches onto the wall. And when it's in place, it prevents the bookshelf from moving forward. But when it's out of the way, the bookshelf can swivel open. So once you figure out the secret bookcase door, you walk into this kind of living room hangout area. First thing you walk into is a movie theater. It's got some seats, a nice screen, and even a pop popcorn machine. Then there's the pool table area, and I actually really like the design of the table. I came up with it myself. Then there's the sticks for the pool table. I actually don't know what they're called, but whatever. And if you don't want to play pool, but you want to play ping pong, there's the pink top of a ping pong table mounted to the wall, which you can detach and attach to the pool table. And if next to it are the washer, dryer, and a little couch if you want to rest. Then there's this door, which leads to the final room in this bunker, the ultra safe room. And I made this because like, if the zombies are attacking at night, like that gives you somewhere to go. So anyway, that is the full bunker. I hope you liked it. I'll be back for another video very soon. Bye.